There's a hole in the periodic table, and it's technetium. Technetium is the 43rd element in the periodic table, but has an incredible quality. It has no stable isotopes, meaning that every existing form of technetium decays over time, making it radioactive. Along with this, technetium is a synthetic element, meaning that it does not exist naturally in nature. It was first reported to be synthesized in 1925 by three German chemists, Nodak, Berg, and Tack. However, most of the radioactive elements are much heavier, weighing two to three times more than technetium. So why is technetium radioactive? Firstly, technetium has an odd number of protons, which automatically makes it less stable than elements with an even number of protons, since protons tend to pair up to maintain stability. Also, there's a concept in nuclear physics known as magic numbers. If an element has a number of protons or neutrons that is close to a magic number, it is typically more stable than other isotopes of such element. However, technetium has 43 protons, which is not close to the neighboring magic numbers of 28 and 50. While there is an isotope of technetium with 50 neutrons, technetium 93, it is too far away from the value of stability, a concept which determines what ratio of protons to neutrons is ideal for an element to be stable. Based on the value of stability, the isotope technetium-98 should be stable. However, it is prone to beta decay, meaning that all isotopes of technetium with a mass below 98 primarily decay into molybdenum, while isotopes with a mass of 98 and above primarily decay into ruthenium. One example of why technetium does this is because molybdenum-99 decays into technetium-99m, a metaphase of technetium. Then, technetium-99m decays into technetium-99 by gamma decay, where excess energy is released. Technetium-99 further decays into ruthenium-99 because the high amount of energy is still unstable. Despite technetium having 34 different isotopes, its neutron number is either too far away from the value of stability, or it is prone to beta decay because of the excess energy it contains. Technetium's radioactivity fascinates chemists because of its incredibly low mass. Its properties allow us to further grasp the reasoning behind the decay of synthetic elements. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.